Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and I wanted to give you an update on the alert for Tokyo. Last night I posted a video of a severe smoke event that occurred in the afternoon at the Fukushima plant. The smoke was originating from uh, what appears to be uh, an area adjacent to the basement of reactor number three. And today another video was posted that shows another view of the reactor from the other side and you can see that smoke is coming out of the other side of the building too. Now what is so concerning about this was, um, well one, this is nowhere near as severe as the, the smoke that was pouring out of the other side of the building. The fact that it's coming out on both sides and I do not see any type of um, first responder or firefighter, firefighter activity says to me that they know it's something that can't be put out. And um, we we're concerned about the releases and the fact that the wind direction was going straight to Tokyo. And uh, that wind direction continues today. And the radiation measurements are showing an uptick in approximately 20 cities um, all over Japan, but especially between. Fukushima plant and Tokyo and let me show you um, there's a slider on this website and I'll close links to a couple of maps where you can check these but if you um, if you look at this uh, you, you can see uh, there's a lot of extension here um, from day to day really what I find more helpful is to look at the graphs of the individual cities it's more appreciable to see it when an uptick occurs and um, some of these cities it's more apparent than others Abaraki is showing one, Tochigi, uh, Gunma, Saitama, Chiba Tokyo is very slight so far um, if you're in Tokyo though, here's Kanagawa. Kanagawa is actually quite a bit south of Tokyo. But if you're ready in this area, you should be treating um, all outside air and especially in days of precipitation as having a high potential for fallout. The fact that we had a severe smoke event yesterday just uh, makes the threat that more severe. And again, the groups of individuals that would be uh, the most profoundly affected by the radiation levels would be uh, pregnant women, women with babies, um, anyone who is nursing, anyone who has any type of immune deficiency or a chronic illness <clears throat> where your immune system is suppressed, uh, they're going to be more susceptible. And um, the, the biggest concern is pregnant women, of course. Um, here the wind direction is confirmed it's still coming straight from Fukushima to Tokyo so we'll keep an eye on this if you're in the area and you don't already have links to the radiation monitors I will enclose them and also consider checking out the site called SafeCast and see if you can possibly um, a volunteer or uh, donate some, some time to this organization they are doing a wonderful job of trying to alert the public to the health hazards and what's going on in this region. And I'll also enclose some links to some wind maps, but it looks like this is going to be uh, the pattern over the next 12 hours. So I'll keep you posted if there's any change or any further smoke or steam events. And I'll also put links to the live cameras um, if you are so inclined to watch them. So please share this information and stay safe.